Good morning everybody, Lone Wolf Rick here. And it is another warm day here in the Las Vegas, in the Las Vegas Strip. Currently sitting under the valet area, the Porta Cachera area here at the MGM Grand. Currently it's 97 degrees here in Las Vegas. They're projected a high of 103 today once it's all said and done. So we'll see if it gets to that mark. But I sat down here for a few minutes to a little R&R &R and get out of the sun for a little bit. But we're going to get ready to go here, take a walk down the little exit ramp here to Tropicana. And there goes the monorail. And we'll uh, see what's happening today here on this hump day Wednesday. Hope everybody's having a great uh, week so far. Hope all of my watchers it's like along the uh, east coast and the gulf area are doing okay after uh, the hurricane it's like it uh, did all of its damage it's a real shame real uh, when nature uh, roars huh I mean my hometown of Bartlesville Oklahoma had a tornado roar through one time and it passed within two blocks of my parents house sounded like a freight train but damage it did took out buildings along the way was uh, pretty scary US Highway 60 runs through my hometown actually two US Highway 60 and US Highway 75 there goes the monorail back run through my hometown of Bartlesville but this one came from the west it's like along US 60 and it was almost like a pinball it just bounced from building to building to building on the east side of the road and took out whatever it hit that it took it out for blocks so that was a uh, pretty scary so like I said I hope everybody's doing okay it's like along the uh, trail of the hurricane You can tell it's a little bit breezier today than it has been. But this is one of those breezes that's not going to blow in a, a uh, cool front anytime soon. See the way over there with the steak and shake? talk a little bit about the uh, this Tropicana implosion here what could you do or what would you do with 22 seconds 22 seconds now some people would probably say if I cut my videos down to 22 seconds that would be 22 seconds too long I had a, I had a few trolls uh, over my four years of doing the channel, that I'd probably say that. Back in high school, in my in my youth, but back in high school, I could run a 4.8 40 yard dash, which is fairly quick. Now I could probably do that in 22 seconds. But 22 seconds, it, for six, little over six months, they have been working, it's like on this uh, Tropicana here. Do a lot of the demolition work. If you follow my channel, you know I've covered it a lot. It's like from the very beginning, when they were taking out the trees. But, uh, so a little over six months they've been working on this to get it to this shape right here. And 22 seconds is what they're saying. It's like the implosion time is going to be. So from the time they push the plunger on these two standing structures, 
it will be completely down and over in 22 seconds. That's pretty amazing, huh? A little over six months of manpower has gone into it to get to the point where it just takes 22 seconds. They are, if you're here in Las Vegas, they're asking people not to uh, come down the area because they're going to have a bunch of this whole lot of this area blocked off. I can tell you the oil hotel back there. They are advertising and selling rooms right on this area right here that you can oversee the implosion. They're selling those rooms at a premium price. Now, Excalibur, New York, New York, MGM, I don't know what they're doing. They haven't been advertising it, but the oil has been advertising it. Watch the implosion from this, from your room. And then whatever the price is. Of course, they didn't list the price. It just said, uh, you know, rent a room and it said a premium price. So we'll see how they do with that. not working another jet airplane taken off over there above the Luxor Alrighty, everybody, I think that's going to do it for this video today. I won a, won a couple of uh, baseball bets yesterday. Actually, I won three. I bet the first three baseball games, I bet all the underdogs, and all the underdogs won. How about that, huh? <laughs> little money, little bits of money. And I'm going to come in here at the MGM Grand and cash my tickets and go find some lunch. Hey, I'm Lobo Freak. Thank you very much for joining me. I greatly appreciate it. And I will see everybody in the next video. Hey, take care of yourselves, everybody, please, okay? And uh, I'll stay healthy and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.